Hi, I'm Angus, and alongside Matthew, we founded AgTree to provide agricultural risk analytics at any scale. The global agriculture industry operates on severely limited data. This data is super expensive as it's mostly manually collected, usually over the course of months where errors remain uncorrected. Everyone involved, from the farmers to investors to banks, make decisions worth billions of dollars every year with insufficient information. This leads to billions more lost in bad loans and investment, while it's leaving many farmers around the world unable to seek the financing they need to grow their business. This is a $3.5 trillion industry with an uncertain future threatened by climate change. To address this, AgTree is using AI to build synthetic farm records through satellite, weather and climate data, forming a multi-decade view of every farm on earth that will enable everyone in the industry, from the farmer to the bank, to make informed decisions by deeply knowing their past, understanding their present and forecasting their future. And while at Startmate, we've completed extensive customer research and have built a $6 million pipeline with a global TAM of over $10 billion. We have our first paying customer on board worth 110,000 a year, and we've partnered with Findex and others to directly reach over 20,000 Australian farms. And finally, we've just closed a $750,000 funding round and have doubled the size of our team with no signs of slowing down. While we currently service paying customers with our analytics, we are now just weeks away from launching our platform with several eager beta customers that include financial institutions, asset managers, and real estate services. We're fully funded, but anticipate a new round within 12 months. We know the road ahead, and we're looking for the right strategic partners and customers. And we're on the lookout for world-class talent to join us as we create a tangible impact on our food security and agricultural resilience to climate change across the world. Thank you. Hey, Angus. Hey, Hannah, how's it going? Good, good to see you. Um, so, Angus, a big focus for the last few months for you and Matt has been quite a number of potential customer conversations and validating your product. What is the problem that you're solving for these customers? Yeah, thanks, Anna. Look, I think the best way to illustrate this is through a live example where we're currently working with uh, one of Australia's leading agribanks to solve a few issues. So for them at their relationship manager level using our platform, they've got a much faster and higher quality process to evaluate new to bank customers. You know, for their credit team, they get a far more comprehensive and long-term understanding of volatility and volume of production on farm. And they've also got the ability to instantaneously benchmark new to bank customers and their all overall portfolio while facilitating scenario analysis using a consistent independent data set. And uh, additionally, the same information is provided to the bank's customers, which supports long-term decision-making on-farm, whether that's buying or selling land to changes in practice or entering new, new markets such as carbon capture. Awesome. So there's a, there's a few players in the agri-analytics space. What, what makes you guys different? Yeah, so, you know, there, there's a few products out there and, you know, most of them are either focused on, say, more alchemical problems such as land valuation or maybe they're simply data aggregators and they don't really go that extra step of translating the information into something that's intuitive and provides real user insights. You know, it's good to remember, you know, we're not a tool for daily decision making on farm. We're focused uh, primarily on the long term to facilitate better investment decisions whilst adopting to new conditions under climate change. Cool. And so then you and Matt, from what I've seen, you've got, you know, very comp complementary skill set. What what makes you guys, um, what gives you sort of the right to win in this space, do you think, as a team? Yeah, so uh, like Matt and I, you know, we're, we're both a mix of aerospace engineer, software developer and data scientist. Um, and we've also worked together over the past five years, you know, with companies such as Airbus or worked with organisations like the Japanese Space Agency. You know, I'm also a repeat founder, um, previously at a remote sensing startup focused on environmental health and water quality. Um, we're actually recruited, Matt, to be our lead developer. Um, we won't lie, though, you know, we don't have an ag or finance background, but we also don't harbour any of the biases or limitations around what can be done in this industry. You know, and to that, to that point, we've actually um, accelerated our knowledge in the space and have been backed by some of the industries you know, best who believe in our mission and see the potential um, for us to change things for the better. So, you know, joining our current and previous funding rounds, we have, you know, former executives of multinational agribusinesses, as well as financial services companies like Findex, whose chairman actually just joined our board. Cool. So it's been a big few months, obviously um, raised a great round. What does the next 12 months look like for you guys? 
Yeah, yeah, thank you. So yeah, given the success of our latest round, you know, our focus really is now on growing the team, which we expect to double again. Um, you know, we're working on our partnerships with our strategic customers to at least triple revenue, but it's looking likely much more. And we'll be launching our platform with early partners and customers to service thousands of farming operations uh, and lenders across Australia.